Recent research on manned aerial vehicles have been used as a mobilized camera carrier for traffic monitoring and analyzing. At larger scale, they are used for traffic monitoring or roadmap data collecting. At small scale, they can be used for traffic flow calculation or trajectory data collection. Aerial image provides a wider field of view, preserves accurate traffic flow data in both space and time, and can be quickly deployed. Most research focuses on vehicle detection and trajectory calculation, but doesn't consider the positioning problem in aerial video. If not properly processed, information is based on objects' positioning in the video, such as speed or trajectory, may be incorrect. In our research, we hope to provide a reference for objects in the video based on distance preserving image stitching with the help of image processing technique. First, we have to pre-process the collected video. This includes lens distortion removal and top view transform. Then, image stitching is applied to the processed image. To validate the relevant techniques and present results, we've made several visualization tools. We'll introduce each of them later in this video. First, is lens distortion removal. To do so, camera parameter is needed, but users doesn't necessarily know the parameters of their camera. Therefore, we provide a method for estimating the parameter by using checkerboard image taken at different angles. For each camera, the parameter only needs to be calculated once. Once the parameter is known, the distortion can be removed. The results are displayed at the bottom of the program. Next step is top view transform. If the camera isn't perpendicular to the ground while filming, user needs to enter the camera angle for top view transform. The restored top view image should be trapezoidal, but for the convenience of subsequent processing, we only keep the middle part of the image. Last is image stitching and visualization. The purpose of image stitching is to create a panorama for positioning. Visualization allows users to perform various operations on the stage panorama. Our program provides the following functions. First, it can brighten the current field of view, allowing the user to see the movement and the process of the drone. It can also be played automatically in type sequence. Next, is the connection with GPS coordinates. User can get the GPS coordinate of specified point on the map and measure distance based on it. Last is the presentation of other data. As long as the vehicle detection data on the individual photo is provided, the system will automatically convert the coordinate to the panorama and draw the trajectory. Conclusion Our research combines lens distortion removal, top view transform, and image stitching to construct a positioning reference coordinate for aerial image. This provides a way to measure distance and decide the relative position between objects over various images. We also implement some programs to show our result. Through experiment, the average arrow in our global coordinate is about 3.6 meters. Thanks for your watching.